Good morning, family. I'm here with another update. Mike Novogratz claims Ripple's SEC lawsuit hasn't affected XRP price. Of course it hasn't. Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Novogratz has shared some authorizations about the performance of the XRP cryptocurrency in a recent tweet. The value of XRP has actually almost tripled since the SEC actions. It hasn't plummeted. It's a testament to the fact that once communities are formed with shared interests, they are damn resilient. Novogratz, who has been very critical of XRP in the past, believes that this highlights how resilient cryptocurrency communities can be. Okay. While XRP initially plunged over 60% following the SEC lawsuit due to a slew of trading suspension announcements from exchanges, it managed to rebound quickly as Ripple embraced the fight. The XRP community didn't remain on the sidelines and recently scored a minor win with the judge allowing its members to submit legal briefs as Amnesty Carre, friends of the court, yet they won't be able to directly participate in the litigation process as third-party defendants. So family, XRP is on a whole nother level. Once we go through this bull run, it's going to be very, very bullish. But at the same time, once you see blood in the streets and the markets, you will start seeing XRP and XLM steady rising while Bitcoin is steady pouring, going down, okay? XRP has not even reached its full potential. This is nothing. All these other cryptocurrencies has reached their all-time highs. XRP has not reached its all-time high. Last time it reached its all-time high was 2017. We're talking about we should see 50 to $100 XRP. All right. So with Flare Finance launches experimental finance platform on Songbird Network. Now, if you guys haven't received your Songbird bird yet you may have it on your ledger when you did your xrp claim on december 12th of last year i still haven't received my uh songbirds i can see an xrp scan that i do have some coming when they do drop airdrop them but i see passive income coming the thing about it family is this i don't want to put any of my digital especially my xrp if i put it on an exchange to generate me passive income which is it's all great and all but i just wouldn't want to be the person i put all my xrp onto uh exchange to generate passive income because you know i'm all about passive income but what if they just take our xrp away Think about it. You know, I mean, I'm not trying to scare you guys, but think about it. I I don't know. You know, I might use uh, 5% of my XRP, put it on there, the Flare Finance, and see what really happens. Because I don't want to lose my digital currency. The government wants your bags. So, again, with Songbird. Uh, Songbird platform is the canary network of the Flare network, similar to Polkadot and consumer networks. Flare Finance, a decentralized financial ecosystem built on the Flare network, has announced that the experimental finance platform is now launched on the Songbird network. Notably, the Songbird platform is the canary network of the Flare network, similar to the Polkadot and consumer networks. Basically, developers now have a chance to test their systems on the Songbird before launching on the main network, thereby avoiding bugs and other system errors. So users participating on the XFi platform can look forward to a whole lot of rewards that are being offered by Flare Finance. One million YFLR has been allocated as rewards for the participants, 650,000 DFLR, Reward pool has been set aside for yield farming participants, whereas 350 grand D flare will go towards stable coins and loan participants. The company noted in a press release. Okay, so I mean <clears throat> they're talking real good. 
you know, but I just really want to see how this really goes. Will we be able to take our tokens out of that exchange? You get what I'm coming from? So with Gary Gensler and Jay Clayton, <clears throat> they believe that they met up in 2018 and was instrumental in XRP hostility. That's what they say. So when, <clears throat> when Gary Gensler took over at the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission this year, many in the cryptocurrency community touted it would be the beginning of the new era, one that would spell clarity and prosperity for the NASA industry. However, it's been anything but. But Gensler has been just as tough, if not even more so than his predecessor. And as new report reveals, Gensler's hostility, especially towards XRP started years ago, could have influenced the SEC stand against the cryptocurrency even before he took the leadership. Oh, okay, so I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not going to read all that. If XRP doesn't moon, nothing else will moon. I'm going to leave it like that. XRP will and only become the number one digital currency. Don't forget, there will be a great shakeout. Will you sell your XRP for 35 grand? Will you sell your XRP for 10,000? And probably most of you guys say, yes, I will sell it. I will sell my XRP. But that's just, it, it's, that's the thing. It's manipulation. It's not manipulating the market, but it's manipulating the people who own big bags of XRP to, <laughs> to sell it at ten or 15000 a piece. That's something tricky. To be honest with you, I may sell 40 of my XRP, just 40 at 35, 40 of my XRPs, but I believe that that's just a very, very cheap number. XRP may surpass Bitcoin all-time high. I mean, it's just, just a thought. You got to think about it. The banks, the governments, they all know what XRP do. They all know what XRP holds. So just, just keep that in mind. When XRP shoots up to 10 grand, 15 grand, 35 grand, what is your exit plan? I'm not going to tell you, oh, you should sell uh, a certain amount of your XRP and then wait for it to dip and buy back again. What if it doesn't dip? What if XRP does not dip? What if XRP goes back up to 60 grand and you sold uh, a majority of your portfolio at 35 grand. You see, I'm wanting to have my XR, my major bag for the long term. Of course, if you if you have 50 XRP, you could take out 50 XRP and sell it at 35 grand. You'd be great. Just pay the little taxes, or if you don't even have to pay the taxes, just use a card and have your XRP on there. Whereas <laughs> you never you never sold. You're just buying with your XRP. You get what I'm coming from? So if you sold 50 of your XRP at 35 grand, that would be $1.7 million. That may not be a lot to a lot of you, but I mean, it should be a, a lot where you can use so you don't have to go to work. You can be home researching other digital currencies in the early run and buying more. You know, and also my boy CKJ Crypto News. Yeah, he was in a car accident Thursday morning. You guys, please pray for him. Please pray for him. I'm not going to talk about his injuries. I don't want to give out his business like that, but pray for him. He was the first person I got who helped me with his YouTube videos, you know, supported me. And I always support him. So when you guys give it, you get a chance, type down below prayers for CKJ and he's going to make it out through this and he'll be back doing these videos.
So once again, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you again in the next clip.